Good morning and good evening, everyone. This is Rob2D, and the code always wins. Today, I'll be starting a multi part series breaking down software modding for your X Men vs. Street Fighter or Marvel vs. Capcom 3rd Gen Arcade 1 Up cabinets. In today's episode, I'm just going to show you a very simple trick to get into the underlying Android operating system menu where you can find some interesting things about your cab. Besides that, we'll be hooking up your keyboard and a mouse and an Ethernet adapter. Before we get started, just a disclaimer. You may void your warranty by following this, and I'm not responsible for anything that might happen as a result of you messing around here, especially if it's beyond the scope of this video. This video is mainly just for educational or entertaining purposes only. With that said, let's move on to things. So some things you're going to need for this tutorial, a keyboard, a mouse, and an on-the-go or OTG micro USB to USB port. I have a link in the description for this particular USB adapter, which I've tested on both caps. It's nice because it has three USB ports in case we want to connect other things later on, and also an Ethernet adapter. It also has power, which you never know whether you need it, but I would not advise to connect that just for the sake of a mouse or a keyboard because you might actually fry your PCB. Oh, I forgot to turn on the <laughs> And in terms of the Ethernet adapter, Everyone should be using an Ethernet adapter for fighting games, and you should not be the uh, it's not my Wi-Fi guy, because that guy, we all know that guy. If you are not using Ethernet, you're, you're probably being that guy. Another thing you're going to need is a keyboard. I have here a Lenovo K400 keyboard. I'd recommend this one because it's pretty easy to pull out when you're messing with the cab and it's just one port, so you don't have to be like finagling with two different ports. So with that out of the way, let's get started on actually connecting these to the cab. So on the back of the Arcade 1UP, you actually have a USB port, a micro USB port, and it's connected to your monitor if you've seen that before. Uh, if you haven't, take a look underneath, and it's as easy as just plugging in the OTG adapter that I just showed you, and now your keyboard has access to the menu and we can get started. So this next part is going to feel really obvious, like it's impossible to miss, but it was actually really difficult to figure it out. Are you ready? So with your keyboard in front of you, you're going to hold the Windows key and press L. And this is going to open up the Calendar app on Android. It's going to ask you for some permissions, and you can navigate this menu using the keyboard up and down to go down and up, and the left and right keys enable or disable the options. Now when you get to continue, you're going to press enter, and make sure you don't cancel out here, and then you're going to be in the calendar app. So from here, you're going to hold the Windows key, and then you're going to press the N as in Ninja key, and you're going to notice that the Android menu came down. So normally in Android menus on this old version, I wouldn't recommend using a mouse. But in this case, we have to touch this cog icon. And rather than trying to explain how to do that with the keyboard, let's just click on that icon. And now we're in the Android menu. Congratulations. I wouldn't recommend blindly changing settings here. So you can do some serious damage to your cap. This is especially for things related to storage, security, or video. But in the near future on this channel, we'll be expanding our cap functionality with this menu as a springboard here. So if you like this video and exclusive content like this, which I put a lot of time into researching and sharing here, please like, share, and subscribe. This has been Rob2D and the code always wins. I'll catch you in the next one.